What's happening guys? Safety Liner C2 here. This is the March 2023 school bus collection update. Let me show you everything I got. So first off, I got this police bus. I got it at a toy show. I went to it last year. I think I did pretty well uh, with the amount of buses that I got there last year. And I was hoping I would do well again this year. But this is the only one that I ended up getting. I have the bigger version of this one, but I don't have the smaller version. And this is the first smaller version of this bus. Um, that I have, so I figured I might as well pick it up, and since I was down there, I would get it. You can see that there are some wires right there, uh, and they kind of run up throughout the bus. You can't really see it, um, and it, I believe that these lights and the marker lights and the tail lights would come on, and that a siren sound would play whenever you hit this button, but unfortunately, I think the battery's dead. You can kind of see the battery right there. I already tried taking the bus apart. It's pretty stubborn and was not budging. So I don't think that I'm going to be able to make those work. But, uh, you know, pretty cool. And it was only a couple bucks. So uh, just something different to have. Next up, I got a bunch of literature this month. Starting us off with this 1976 uh, Bluebird All-American FE Driver's Manual. I was hoping that there would be some good pictures in here of the bus itself, but there is plenty of pictures in here, just not of what I was hoping for. Um, super cool. It wasn't too much, so I went ahead and picked it up, and I'm, I'm happy with this. So the next couple things I got in a lot on eBay, uh, again, not too expensive, and pretty much all of the items in there are from Quebec and Vermont. And while this stuff might not necessarily be, like, uh, bus-specific branded, uh, like Bluebird or Thomas or manufacturer-specific, I guess, um, this is the type of stuff that I believe would be lost if I, I, if I don't archive it. So I'm really doing my best to um, just collect all sorts of literature, whether it is um manufacturer specific or not and while this stuff might not be as interesting um as an enthusiast as compared to uh some manuals or something i think that this is just as important to have and archive uh just so that it doesn't get lost so this is just a little coloring book you know just kind of general bus safety this right here is a rules sticker that would go inside of the bus this little pamphlet is Ford specific. Again, it's just kind of bus safety stuff. Um, but, you know, again, Ford school bus, and I've never seen this before. So this one's kind of interesting. This would, I assume, go out to the general public to uh, remind people to slow down on yellow and stop on red. But I thought it was interesting because they chose a carpenter cadet to show off uh, or to use as the bus. This is also kind of an interesting little way to display the pamphlet as well um normally we would just see like the last one just kind of like a little little book style uh so i thought this one was cool again just another vermont uh bus riding rules this is a letter dated from 1972 talking about how the drivers need to take some sort of course we have another one of these rules stickers and yet another one in french so this right here i actually already have one of these but it's a uh as the title implied a maintenance guide for chevy school buses from the 1970s this is someone's handbook i assume the original owner of this lot um they're kind of training stuff so there's like 20 pages worth of stuff and just a bunch of questions that they answered in here. Uh, yeah, so that's cool. And the last thing I got in the lot is this 60-page, what I assume to be Quebec school bus specs. Unfortunately, this is in French, so I'm not able to read it. But I am going to start slowly working on translating this so that we can uh, have this, you know, again, just for future reference. So... Um, not exactly sure what's in here because it's in French and I don't know how to read or speak or understand French. So, uh, that's going to be a project on its own. And all of the pictures of everything except for this, because again, it's in French, will be on Flickr if you want to take a look. And there you have it. That is everything I got in March 2023. 
And that'll do it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical white button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know why they put it down here they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or, you know, maybe, I don't know what's going to happen. Just uh, something bad's going to happen to you. <laughs> And make sure you also share this video with a friend, show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy in a random street. I don't care, don't let anything happen to you. So yeah guys, that's going to do it for this video, and thanks for watching.